Hello, I'm Congressman Richie Torres. The power struggle between democracy and autocracy is the seminal challenge of the 21st century. Why then is the U.S. State Department denouncing a democratic Kosovo while appeasing an increasingly autocratic Serbia? In the span of 16 years, Kosovo has emerged as the most democratic country in the Western Balkans. When the United States needed countries to take in Afghan refugees amid the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan, Kosovo was one of the first countries to rise to the occasion. Kosovo is an unwavering ally of the United States, whereas Serbia has long been a satellite in the orbit of Russia and, by extension, China. Serbia has refused to sanction Russia's illegal invasion of Ukraine and Vladimir Putin's war crimes against the civilians of Ukraine. It has imported weapon systems from Russia in violation of U.S. law, namely Katza. There has even been polling revealing that Vladimir Putin is the most popular foreign leader in Serbia, war crimes notwithstanding. Given all these facts staring us in the face, one wonders why the U.S. State Department would insist on appeasing a satellite state of Russia at the expense of a durable democratic ally like Kosovo. The time has come for the U.S. State Department to put its support where our values lie, behind true democracies like Kosovo, which has earned the right to be universally recognized and integrated as an independent state. The United States must no longer be fooled by a Serbian regime that plays both sides. One diplomat put it succinctly, you cannot sit on two chairs at the same time, especially when those two chairs, the United States and Russia, democracy and autocracy, are too far apart. America must stand unequivocally with its greatest export, democracy.